Alright guys, um, here's the, um, the valve cover gasket product. Um, the part number is VS50746R. So that's what we have to replace is the gasket. The valve cover gasket. And this is what it look like. This is this plastic. With all the shape already. But guys, as you can see, the molding actually is a shape of the valve cover already. So basically just a align to the grooves and just install your a uh, gasket yeah put in the shape of it there's only uh, one way to uh fill it because it's that's how it uh it's pre-made already just put in a slot and yeah that's all you need to do you can see just like that. We got the brand new gasket. That's how it look, what it looked like right there. So all the shapes in there. With the gasket. All right, let's install this baby. All right, um, before we put in the valve cover, I uh, just want to take out the paper towel out because um, basically what we did was um, we, we, we actually put it in because it doesn't get the breeze get into it or rats or something or snake or whatever it is <laughs> so that's why i would do that so um nothing going on in it it's where the uh, spark plug goes in um or the coil so let's take it out pretty clean still there we go we'll be done today all right all right um before i put the valve cover back on i um, just want to make sure i want to clean the surface a little bit so i'll use the uh, brake parts cleaner and just spray it on the the rag, just uh, wipe the surface of it where the gaskets sit. It's not too bad. And here a little bit. Good. Just spray a little bit more. Alright, it should be good. Alright, um, I recommend also uh, use a blade just to uh, scrape off the debris, like where the uh, gaskets sit. Um, if they're really dirty, so right now I'm just like, uh, mine's not that bad. So I'm just using the rag and just clean up a little bit the surface before I install the um, gasket. But I do recommend just use the blade, scrape it off, and that'd be nice and clean. So that way the gasket sits, and, um, so there's no leaks or anything like that. So, alright, let's go for it. Alright, make sure. Um the gasket's in place over here before you uh, put on the surface of the valve cover. So line it up. Okay. Should be perfect fit. And that is it. Align the screws and install it. All right. Once you put the valve cover on in place, uh, line the screws and everything, um, the bolt, and you just want to put the bolt back in. Basically, I'm just putting the first thing in the middle, and then uh, top bottom, and then cor uh, corner and diagonal corner, and then the other two. So that way, uh, the pressure goes in the same. Like, so just use by your hand. Like align it and put the screws in and don't tighten it yet. And that's one of them. Okay. This one here. Just use your um, hand and um, eight millimeters socket and just put it in. Align it. All right, and then this one here. Uh, 
the next one, bottom left corner. Okay, it's in. All right, next one is top right corner. In. That. All right, the next one is go with the top left corner. There you go. And then just snug it in. There you go. All right, the last one is the uh, the bottom right corner right here. Snug it in. Okay, that's it. All three. All right, guys. Um, all the bolt is in place, and all we, what you're doing is just like tighten them up. Um, I would recommend, um, if you want, you can actually uh, Google um, to see the spec the, for the torque spec on this. Um, I believe it's 20, 20 or 30 pounds, but you can Google that up if that's possible. Um, you can do that yourself. But for me, I just go by feel of it. I'm using the 8 millimeter, and you don't want this uh, to really tight it, and then you can actually strip the, the bolt. So uh, you just want to like, put it tight enough and then they clean like another quarter and just go that way okay all right so you want to do this to the, just to start right there so just like um do like another quarter turn or half a turn There you go. Alright, so I'll just do all the rest and I'll uh, talk to you after. Hey guys, uh, spark plug time is for them. Um, I got this from Advanced Auto called Auto Light Brand. It's part number is XP5684 and it's a uh, Iridium XP. Alright, check out the spark plug. There you go. The tips are preset so. Okay, and we're using the uh, extension and a 14 millimeter uh, socket to install this. All right, uh, it doesn't matter which plug you want to go first. I'm going to go with the left to the right, and you just drop right in nicely like that, and use your uh, 14 millimeter socket, and there you go, and just. Start your spark plug. Pretty straight. There you go. Tight. That's one. Hook number two. Nicely. Start in. Manually. Put them in your hand before you use your ratchet. Make sure it goes in. There you go. That's number two. All right. Let's go with number three. Nicely. Drop it in. The 14 millimeter socket. Manually, put it through straight, like a 90 degree angle. There you go. That's the third one. And here's the fourth one. Drop it in. <coughs> Straight and manually. Okay, 
Okay. That is the fourth. Tighten it up. So there we are. 90 degree angle. You can feel it. There you go. Okay. Do some ratchet. And for the second one. There you go. You don't want to snap the spot plug, the thread. So we cut the third one right here. There you go. Perfect. Third, go to the fourth one. Then that's it. That's for the spark plug. All for a brand new one. Okay. All right, you guys. Uh, coil time. We got four of them. Uh, we actually we have to replace one because it actually is cracked, as you can see. All right. So uh, the part number is E1049, and this is from um, Avance Auto again. It's Intermotor uh, Genuine Import Parts. All right, and that's the part number is E1049. All right, here's the coil. All right, here's the brand new coil. So basically, we just put it through here. Go. So basically, you want to just align the bolt hole, um, the bolt hole with the um, the coil. And just manually, with your finger, put it in for a little bit, and then after use the uh, 10 millimeter socket, just nice and snug. Looks good, and tighten with the 10 millimeter socket and a, and a ratchet. And you don't want to be uh, too tight either; you don't want to snap it. So this is good. There you go. Coil number two, align, and. Then you just uh, put it here, manually put it in, make sure the uh, coil and the spark plug is snugged in, and you just uh, hold it in place, that's number two, coil number three, align, snugged in, Manually. Socket and a ratchet. And tight, snugged, look good. Third one, fourth one. Align. Go out. Go socket. Yes, ten millimeter socket. Like then, perfect. All four. Uh, once all the cores in place, the bolt is tightened, and the next step you want to do is just put the um, the wire harness back in. So just there you go, snap in. There you go. That's two. It's third one snapped in, and the fourth one is over here, and we are good to go. Go. Make sure it's nice and snug, though. All right. Let's align the screws. Put it uh, back in place. No. Then we do it. And, and. good. Okay. 
place. All right, once you align the hole, we'll just put one bolt here for this one to hold everything in place. Let's see, I can't really see. I feel it. There you go. That should hold in place. And then the next one you want to do is just put the um, the bolt with the, the passenger's uh, side. Um, the mount right here. There's a nut in the back. And you put it in by hand before you uh, use the socket to uh, really tight it. So just put in everything in place. That way you want to make sure and we can like move it around, align the, all the bolt and uh, screws. Okay, uh, let's uh, align that and put the manifold bolt in here manually. Use your hand with a 10 millimeter socket. And put it in. Just want to snug as it. You don't want to tighten anything yet. That's one. A bolt right there. Let me see. There we go. So I'm going to go in nice and in. Perfect. Next one. Okay, there's a third one. You can see I'm just uh, put it in. I'm not going to tighten anything yet. It's the third, fourth one. Let's see, I want to make sure it goes in nice and. There we go. Fourth. It's the last one. Okay, uh, everything is aligned up. So what you do, I'm gonna tighten everything now. So that's what I'm doing next. So this one more tighter. And sorry if I'm blocking you. And then you go with the 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Tighten this up. Also, you don't want to like. Uh, they're too tight either because uh, you want to crack the uh, plastic. Just be patient, going in nice and slow. And you feel if it's too tight, you just stop. That's it, should be fine. There you go. There you go, good. I'm snugged in. All right, guys. Um, what we want to do now is just uh, there's uh, four screws up here uh, in front of the uh, manifold, and you want to tighten the, the middle one first, um, and then you work your way out to the left, to your right, and then um, there you go. Just tight. You don't want to strip it either. Okay. That's good. Let's go to the left one next. Okay. Get your ratchet. Stay at that 90 degree angle. Straight anyway. There we go. Next one. That was the left one. We're working our way out. Let's go to the right. You want to spread uh, this way. It um, what's it called uh, balance the um, the pressure. Okay, 
good way feeling right now. If you want to um, torque it, you can uh, Google it to see uh, what the uh, torque specs are. And you're going to take it that way, okay? For me, I just I feel the thing. Feel um, it's tight enough and, uh, you know, do some extra. Like, go this one here, next one. Go. Tight. Give it a little more. There you go. Nice and tight. And the last one. This one at the right. Angle. Okay, here we go. It's good. Alright, um, for this part here, um, you gotta use a 12 millimeter uh, a wrench, uh, which hold um, the nut in the back and use uh, the r a ratchet and a uh, socket, 12 millimeter up front to tighten it. So, that's what I'm doing. So, hold the back and then tighten the front. Slowly, just do it. Fine, it's going in. Barely any room, but gotta do it done. Alright, this basically is for the manifold mounting. It's on the passenger side, so it's pretty tight right now. So you don't want to strip either, so we're good. Pretty tight. Next up. Alright, uh, just put um, the PCV uh, hose back, so basically it's from this one here to the back of the uh, manifold and use the, uh, just put in the hose back and then to use the uh, plier to uh, move the uh, clips back. Alright, that's what I'm doing, so you probably can't see it, but uh, that's that's the next step that you, uh, I'm doing, so push that back in, the hose back to the grooves, and then and put the back on that's that's it for that one all right um you can see is uh back on manifold this hose gotta go back go back there um probably can't really see it i will block it so i'm just showing you where it goes and basically just put the it's right here all right i'm just uh put that in right there and hold this in and i'll just um, move the clamp up okay you need a nose plier Grab that. I'm trying to show you at the same time here. That way I want. All right. Um, basically, you want to make sure we're not confuse yourself here. Uh, um, we want to do the one side first, like please the left side, the left side of the engine. So right now we have the um, the PCV hose is, is put in place, and also the um, the back of manifold hose is actually in also. So there's only make sure this is the section is already done so then we can move to the right section all right. all right the next stop is on the right side of the engine um the manifold wire harness it's right here just snap it back in just like that and then go to the next step all right um the next step we want to do is just uh, position the uh, throttle body and align the uh, screws um what you want to do align the hole and then they put the screws in Hold it in place before we tighten it manually. There's one there. Let's try to put it in here. And use your hand and put it in. Okay, just want to hold it in place. That's it. That's one. Let's go to the next one in the bottom. Okay, I crossed. And right there. Tough to be short. It's a back breaker right now. Reaching over to put the screws in. Alright, that's it's in place. Alright, here's the third one. You can also use the uh, eight millimeter uh, socket. Try to manually put it in there. There you go. 
That one there. Tighten it up a little bit. Other side. Of course, um, the last one, remember the hiding one behind the throttle body? That's what we're doing next. I want to take it last. That's in. So the last one, you gotta feel it. You can't really see it. All right, um, as you can see, uh, you can't really see, I'm sorry. Um, but you just have to feel it and put the screws in there. All right, that's why it's hidden and you can't really see it at all. So you gotta feel where the hole is and try to put the screws in. And I uh, am blocking your way. Sorry about that. It's going in. Okay. And use the, uh, the socket, the deep socket, and try to put it in. Let's see. There go. It's going in. Perfect. All right, that's uh, the fourth one. All right, uh, once you um, uh, tighten the screw by your hand, and now you just uh, use a uh, millimeter, a eight millimeter socket extension and a ratchet, small ratchet, and tighten the screws. Okay. You can say before, try not to strip the screws. One there. Other one, maybe you don't need the extension on this one. So, that off. Okay, and that's three, and here's a, that's the second one, is the third one. Okay, that's it. So this one here got a field. The last one at the corner on the bottom. There it goes to the end. Okay, that's it. That's the fourth one. Nice and tight. Right, um, here's uh, the throttle body harness. So snap it back in. Just like that. Nice and snugged. Next. All right, uh, there's uh, two couple hoses here uh, for the throttle body, and uh, actually uh, it's molded um, position so it go where it's supposed to go. Like, for example, this one here, close to it. So, oh, you can take a picture too if you want. Once you put them in, uh, use the um, plier and move the clip up to lock in place all right I use the vice grip and move the clamp oops let's go this way and put in place there boom perfect next one get a second hose right here so insert it then you want to get the vice grip. I'm probably blocking you, but I need to do this part of it and move the hose in here and let it go. And perfect. Okay, uh, next one, um, get a hose here to the manifold and then just use the vice grip. Let it go. There you go. Nice and snug. All right. Uh, next, I want to do is um, put the this hose uh, between the, the throttle body and the uh, air intake. All right. That's what we're doing. The tight, but we can do it. That one there. And push this in. Okay. Yeah, a little rough, but we can do it right there. It's going in. Shaking the whole car. Yep. Getting strong now. Shaking the whole car. There you go. That is in. Now just tighten the uh, the clamp back. 
with a, I think it's eight millimeter um, socket an expansion and a ratchet and we're good well I'm here so the, basically the, the hose is back in place position but I did not tighten the clamp yet and there's another hose here just put it in like that and use the um, sear to actually hold on back up for now I want to position the clamp easily to do that okay and move the clamp down and just let it go okay and just like that perfect put it put a put it back in the same spot when I took it out so that way it's in nice and snug and that's all for that and I'll go um, tighten the um, the clamp for the uh, throttle body and the uh, air intake um, hose all right um, just tighten the air, air intake clamp back with the 8mm um, extension and a ratchet small ratchet I have here what I'm doing go There you go, it's tight for that one. As you can say, do not strip it. It's not worth it. Go. All right, uh, next one, uh, do the throttle body clamp. There you go. Goes tight. And we are good. Perfect. All right. Once everything is put in place, uh, man the manifold and everything, and the tubes, um, the hose. So let's put the um, the plastic molding back for the air intake. Clips. This in place, perfect. Now I put the engine cover. All right, um, just put the um, engine cover mount back in. So basically, uh, it's a 10 millimeter um, screws. There you go. That one there. And use the socket just to tighten it up with a ratchet. Then, there's the other one, one left, one right, same screw size, use your hand, tighten the, this, perfect, All right, um, now to put the engine cover back on, so basically, Slap this uh, slap back into the, the mound and the two screws. One there, here, align the hold, and then put the screws in. Uh, 
Okay, don't want to snap it either. That's it. Thanks, guys, for watching uh, Tech Time with T. Um, and that is how you do a um, valve cover gasket on 2010 Nissan Versa SL. Thank you. Have a good day.